Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Mr. Hair Osuzua. On today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a skincare update on Benzo Butterfly. Now, I finally know how to call this name Penexo. Penexo, the last time I used this, you know how to pronounce it. That was about 11 months ago, about a year ago, something like that. Yeah. Now, why did I stop using this? Well, it's a personal reason, but I would just uh i'll say a little bit <laughs> i'll say a little bit and and that's it so if you want to know more about this if it worked or if it didn't continue watching <laughs> So as I was saying, I want to say thank you to all my new and old subscribers for those of you who like my video and subscribe and share my video. I appreciate all of you. So if you've not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy what you watch today, subscribe and like and comment and share. Maybe we can help one another okay <laughs> so my acne okay I've had acne not just like one day or two days or one month or two years no I've had acne for a long time okay I've had acne for like let me say 10 years but I know it's more than 10 years when you look at this picture you see how young I am right here and you see how old I am right <laughs> you see how much I am how you know my choice I am right now so you can see so I've had acne for over 10 years and um, you know when you're young when you have acne and they keep saying that um it's just puberty and you're just maturing so that's what I was thinking that's the reason why I'm like okay that's why I'm having acne because I was growing up maturing you know what I'm saying <laughs> so not until 10, uh, 10 over 10 years ago the acne just start coming out and just fell all over my face I'm like what the heck is this you know so and that's when I went to see dermatologist and I've done all I could I took a lot of medications and I used a lot of products nothing worked and that was the reason why I went into health journey now when I first start I didn't know what it was <laughs> I don't know what it's called health journey what was it? <laughs> I didn't know it was a health journey I was but two years ago I went on a health journey what did I do with my health journey I just tried something that I've never done in my entire life and that was it. that was eating more fruit and vegetables so if you're interested in improving your health just by taking fruits and vegetables I'll put the link down below in the description box where you can get it from my website fruits and vegetables so Two years ago, I went on a health journey. I was eating over 50 fruits and vegetables. I was making a lot of green smoothie every day. You know, I was doing a lot of healthy eating. That's what I was calling it at that time. I didn't know it was a health journey. <laughs> so, two years, and I fell in love with the lifestyle, you know, the eating lifestyle. Everything was so good. I loved it. And it was the only thing that stopped my inflammation acne. Mm -hmm. so thankfully my inflammation acne stopped until coronavirus started coronavirus started and then there was a mag date on face mask guess what my face is sensitive I have a bad sensitive skin and I started using these panic so I me mean, I've used it before during my acne journey and it was working i really love it because when i used to have acne on my chest that's what i used and it worked so <laughs> about a year ago so i stopped using this so because i was um expecting <laughs> i was expecting and uh you know all this chemical stuff they're not good when you are expecting a baby so i stopped using all of the stuff that was why my acne got worse, I was on medication, and I was wearing a face mask. My acne got worse, but sad news is uh, my baby didn't stay. And after that, I went into another 
dark shadow which was the pressure and all the stuff so i can barely do my skincare routine everything was kind of a chaos it was terrible at that time for over six months it was like that crazy and after a few months i'm like you know what let me just start my life over again and i moved on then i started doing research on uh, acne thing so i forgot that i already started using this penexo that was a four percent so on instagram and i was just scrolling you know going through this instagram thing and then i came across this md acne so that's how i started using md acne with my uh uh just to get rid of that coronavirus fix mass acne <laughs> you know so now today is the day that i am fully done with md acne which you guys know i've uh, i had a video of it over there i'm gonna put it on the cart right here where you can watch it yeah md acne works it works really good now the fixed month acne it, it stopped md acne solved <laughs> that problem at that time you know at that time but right now why am i still getting acne i'm still getting acne why 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 maybe you also have the same problem i'm getting acne right now because of bacteria yes yes i'm getting acne right now because of bacteria sensitivity in the sense that i am out all day long sometimes i exercise and my body sweat get itchy and guess what your girl got put her hand on her face and when i touch my face guess what i got a breakout <laughs> so you can see right here right here just for me to blow my nose with this, all this allergy thing i get a breakout from the tissue or whatnot i just can't put nothing on my face without getting no without getting a breakout so i thought to myself like huh i used to use Panic so so why can't I just start using panic so since it's good for bacteria acne and that's what I'm getting right now. So that's why I'm back resuming my panic so with pencil Perosa, but this time I'm using 10%. That's because my face is already used to <laughs> hard product, hard acne stuff. But I am only using the face the face wash i'm not using the cream or whatnot because i know this works you know it works so and now i've been using these uh penexo for by week now i use it in the morning that's because i have a good cream like i said on my previous video with this penexo you got to have a good uh, moisturizer more especially when you have a sensitive skin and i know i have a sensitive skin so you have to have a good moisturizer otherwise your face it's going to be really bad you're not gonna like what you see so you've got to have a good moisturizer in order to use this if you have a sensitive skin okay so now for tonight i am going to be washing my face with penexo i'm going to use penexo and clinic for one month i'm going to see if i can stop this bacteria acne now this this is one thing that i've been doing lately and it has been helping me like when my face feel itchy what i do is to slap my hand <laughs> slap my hand and pinch my hand so hard like to distract my brain from touching my face so this is what i've been doing and it's working so let's see how long i can keep up with that <laughs> so so now let's do this for the next one month i'm gonna wash with this and i will do the turn when i finish turning my face and i'll go ahead and put in these a uh, clinic moisture sugar 72 hours auto repairing hydrator from clinic very good i think clinic should sponsor one of my video you know what i mean because hey i will talk about them real good you know what i'm saying <laughs> so if you have a dry skin hurry up to clinic and get yourself uh, a good moisturizer so that's what i'm gonna be doing today so without further talk talk let's just get started and nothing different it's gonna be quick because you already know my routine okay but i just wanted to put this talk out there before 
I do the procedure. So let's get into the procedure. If you've not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe so that you can always know when you subscribe, you turn on the notification bell so that I can notify you when I post updates on my skin because every week I'm going to be updating you guys if this Penexo is worth it, you know, my ups and downs, so that you'll be notified. Say, hey, we got a new video from Esther House you know, like, share, comment, and let's see. If you started. love me, I'll be. If you don't, don't leave me on If you want me, tell me I need to know If you love me, don't let me If you love me, I'll be okay so my face is dry once you apply this on your face you gotta wait uh, for one to two minutes you know if you can if you cannot you can just stay for 30 seconds that's all right you know so so that's what i'll be doing every evening and then in the morning i'm gonna use the pen so twice a day morning and night <sighs> wish me well <laughs> i hope it goes well with me so now i'm gonna go ahead and use this um Clinic moisturizer, okay. Very moisturizer, so I'm very, very excited that I found all this good moisturizer to use alongside with this Penexo because <sighs> I don't know, it would have been so terrible. Take a good look at my face right now. In the next one month, let's hope for the better. And I'm gonna put all the info, the description, what pen, what basal parasite does for your skin, and who should use it and who shouldn't, you know. So I'm gonna put all the information in the description box. Make sure you check it out, and also make sure you check out the website where you can get more information on basal parasite, and also check out my website where you can get your fruits and vegetable to improve your health. Okay, and also check out the clinic website and see where you can get any of the product for yourself thank you all so much and this concludes today's video if you find this video very helpful please give it a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe so that i can see you guys back again next week for another update bye